Hello everyone, Samaritan here, and today I'm bringing you a brand new video talking about my sensitivity. So, my sensitivity, uh, and just my settings in general. And kind of explaining some things that people may uh, question whenever it comes to the sensitivities, the dead zones, things like that. So, I'm going to be giving a, uh, hopefully a comprehensive explanation of that. Now that I'm dead, I'm actually going to be able to show you guys my settings. So let's just hop right into this. So I'm going to go to controller. You see that my button layout is now recon. My look sensitivity is at 3. My look acceleration is at 4. Um, different things that I keep off are toggle crouch, uh, disable assassinations is always going to be on for me, maintain sprint on, auto stabilize off, hold a clamber off, vibration off, inner dead zone at 1%, outer dead zone at 0%. So I'm going to give a little uh, wow. What a spawn. Alright, so I'm going to give a little brief kind of talk about uh, sensitivities. And once you find your sensitivity, what to really do with it. Now, uh, people who play with me know that I've been having a... Uh, sorry, this is a live commentary. I don't know if I mentioned that. So I may get quiet sometimes. Um, people who play with me know that I've been having a really bad time with... Uh, with sensitivities, I just haven't been able to find the right one for me uh, until recently, which uh, I found that 3-4 uh, is probably the best one that I'm running right now, the best one that I have been running. Wow, we're actually going through this game pretty fast. So, uh, yeah, so I, I've had a big problem. 4-2, the acceleration was too slow for me uh, at... 2-4, the look sensitivity was too slow for me, so it was just it was just different little things, uh, and I finally came to 4-3 uh, and or 3-4, and it works out pretty well. The ex look acceleration is solid. The sensitivity is uh, a bit uh, a bit fast, but not too fast. Uh, and yes. So what did I do as soon as I found just what sensitivity worked best uh, for me? I played a ton of Warzone, and that's just because I can get long ranges such as this one, uh, where I get little to no auto-aim and I get to control my reticle more. I have to force controlling what I'm shooting, and uh, it, it just really helps at different ranges. Uh, you can get into up-close encounters by going into the bases. You uh, fight people with different weapons, like some people might have a BR, you may have a pistol, and I just force myself to use a pistol throughout the entire Warzone Assault game. I don't play like normal Warzone because then Rex come in too uh, hot and I don't have a fun time then just going pistols out against like a light rifle or a carbine. Uh, so I played a ton of Warzone. Again, it just gives you different ranges to shoot at. It it just it just really helps. It helps you get uh, those routine shots down, and it gives you a lot to shoot at. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I got quiet there. I wanted to see if I could get at least one of those guys in that uh, situation. So. And you also get to practice with the BR. If you're a competitive player, uh, this really is helpful to you. But if you're a casual player, then you get to play with like all the weapons. <laughs> but if you're a competitive player, you really look towards the light rifle, the carbine, the uh, the pistol, and the BR as like your main weapons. You can try out some power weapons as well. So that's why I, that's my practical use for Warzone. Also, just to just kind of just shoot. It's just to shoot things. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is uh, dead zones. Now, the inner dead zone has to do with the joystick. So the middle, the middle of the right analog stick, the in, the dead zones only deal with the analog sticks. So the right analog stick in the center, uh, whenever you just leave it alone, it stays centered. Now, if you have your inner dead zone at zero percent or zero percent every little movement that you make will be registered on the controller but as you go up in uh, percentage on the inner dead zones it takes more movement from the center uh, in order for the movement to be registered uh, for your reticle so that 
I, uh, hopefully you guys understand what I mean by that. So if I were at 15, it would take me more, it would take me more movement uh, to actually move my pistol in the game. So me, I thought that at 0, zero it was just a little bit too hard to hit some of the up close shots at 3-3 three, three, or at 3 sensitivity with 4 acceleration. So I bumped it up to 1, I tried 2, 2 was just, I, I had to move too much and I wasn't, I wasn't able to do more, so that's why I just changed that there. Can you clamor to this? No, you just phase right there, that kind of sucks. Alright, and the outer dead zone deals with how much movement you move from the, uh, from the outer ring in order for your, in order for your acceleration to pick up. So the faster the acceleration, the faster it is that you're gonna turn around and move. So at zero, you're gonna you're gonna move uh, at the uh, acceleration's uh, lowest speed. But as you go up uh, towards 15%, it takes 15% less movement in order to move your uh, or in order to turn your Spartan around. So if you're playing on a low sensitivity or a low look sensitivity or look acceleration, I'm sorry, uh, you can turn your outer dead zone up in order to change, um, in order to like just change the way that you're playing the game. You're able to turn around more, and really you don't want to touch your dead zones until you're comfortable with uh, just your your look sensitivity and your look acceleration and what I would recommend is you play on zero zero until that uh, until that change happens a until you can like comfortably get into a uh, into a sensitivity just because you're playing with a raw version of that sensitivity and then you can make adjustments with those inner and outer dead zones so that explains dead zones. Now the next thing that I want to talk about is my my controller layout, which is recon. Before myself, Cole, myself and Cole were playing on fish stick, which fish stick basically played like cl or cod settings. And with me playing claw, it was very, it, it it felt really good. But as we started playing other halos, other older halos, it just made more sense to. It made more sense to change, and we noticed that quick scoping was a lot easier. Doing uh, jumps was at first a pain, but really, as long as you have decently fast fingers, you're going to be fine. Uh, because now I have to jump, zoom in, and press X in order to auto stabilize uh, instead of just like jumping, uh, holding the left trigger, and then pressing A or B. I think I think it was B. Uh, so, those are the different those are the different things with that. But it's a it's a traditional it's a traditional button layout, and it's something that uh, like say say that they were to make H three A. If they were uh, to make H three A, I don't think things like Hell Jumper and um, and Re uh, I'm sorry and Fish Stick would be in the other ones. And plus, like if I wanted to move two other halos and play like halo reach or play halo 3 then i am able to do that easily because i don't have to go to my settings reset everything and then make sure that i know what i'm doing as far as the button layout goes so it's just more is more practical uh so that i put that as the end part just because it was my own personal story and i really wanted to make this uh, informational video as well for you guys and uh, I think that just about does it. Uh, I went 14-8. I don't know if that matters anything. But if you have any questions about settings, my settings, or just in general, uh, leave a comment down below. I'm more than willing to help. And uh, one thing to add is that Warzone is just to, just to hit those routine shots. But if you want to hit people who are strafing hard and things like that, as soon as you get comfortable in your sensitivity and you feel like you're hitting your shots decently, uh, then you move to FFA, and from there you move on to team stuff if you want to go on to team stuff. But FFA is where you gain your shot. Warzone is where you polish it. So that's one thing that I definitely want to uh, 
uh, instill into this video uh, as I was uh, wrapping this up. I will see you guys in the next one, and I very much appreciate uh, any comments left down below. I'll see you guys in the next one.